Good morning. Today is the 30th day of June. Can you believe it? 2022. And I'm Linda Morey with this morning's devotion for South Harbor Creek United Methodist Church. It seems that this time every year, I start to think about America, freedom, red, white, and blue, and what that all means. People in my neighborhood have their homes and gardens decorated with American flags and other patriotic things. I have been painting some patriotic rocks, both to hide around for my music students and to hide around town. I love the red, white, and blue colors of our American flag, and I love what it means for our country. I think it can be said that most of us take our freedom for granted. Sure, we have a set of rules that govern us and that we live by, but for the most part, we can do what we want, say what we want, wear what we want, eat what we want, etc., etc. No one really seems to stand up to the challenge of our freedom. <clears throat> In our world, there are so many movements for the cause of freedom. Freedom is a deep need for each of us. True freedom, though, is spiritual and means identifying and taking support from that which is permanent, that which always exists, that which is eternal. <coughs> Excuse me. The Bible talks about freedom, too. A lot, actually. So today I thought we'd take a look at some of them. What does God say about true freedom? Whether you're looking for scripture about freedom from sins or Bible quotes to celebrate the 4th of July holiday, the Bible is filled with great verses about freedom. It is because of sacrifice and battles, both physical and spiritual, that we can experience the gift of freedom today. Christians have freedom over sin and darkness when we follow Christ. It is a good time to remember that we have been blessed. Galatians 5, 1-12 says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery, meaning sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Let no doubt remain outstanding that no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. The freedom Jesus offers is not only the forgiveness of sins, but freedom from sin, to no longer be enslaved to sin. Jesus has the power to set us free from the bondage of sin, from any sin, no matter how intense, habitual, or powerful it may be in your life. 2 Corinthians 3.17 says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. As we approach the 4th of July holiday, once again the Bible is there for us, filled with wise words for expressing the true meaning of freedom we celebrate this time of year. Many of us are looking for more poignant ways to reflect on the privileges of living in a free country, beyond backyard barbecues and fireworks. And we can turn to scripture to read quotes about freedom and independence to celebrate our own freedom as one way to do just that. Stories of hard-fought battles and struggles to achieve justice and liberty resonate loudly, while hopeful messages like John 8, 3, which says, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And John eight thirty six, which reads, So if the Son set you free, you will be free indeed. Reassure us during doubtful moments. Christ has liberated us once and for all from the snare of sin and death, and by his death and resurrection, he has blessed us with the incredible gift of eternal abundant light. life. Romans 8, 12, 8, 1 to 2 reads, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Freedom from sin, freedom from doubt, freedom from shame, freedom from fear. When the Lord brings us his freedom and love, nothing is sweeter. Psalm 118.5 says, Out of my distress I called to the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. As Christians, we find joy as we celebrate our freedom. This 4th of July weekend, we can thank our Savior, King, Friend, Father, and Redeemer for his ultimate sacrifice on the cross, 
that allows us to no longer be enslaved to sin, but to live in true freedom, abundance, and liberation as children of the Most High King. He is so worthy of our praise and adoration. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for freeing us from sin. Thank you for breaking the chains of sin. It was in your name that the founders of this country won liberty for themselves and for us and lit the torch of freedom for nations then unborn. Grant that we and all the people of this land may have the grace to maintain our liberties in righteousness and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord.